Hello, I'm Alicia Court, Paste's theater editor, here with Tammy Face Starlight, <laughs> the star of the upcoming show, It Was a Pleasure Then. Here to pick Tammy's brain about the project is a man who was in the middle of the action during that era in, of rock history. In this case, he is going to be our voice of God today. He is off screen, and his name is Danny Fields. And so, Danny, Tammy, please take it away. Thank you, Alicia. Thanks, Alicia. Thanks. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Danny. I can hear you and see you. Can you see me over that yawn peak? Yes, I can see you through through your uh, through the veil. What's um, the show we're talking about? <laughs> the show we're talking about is called "It Was a Pleasure Then." I'll actually be doing the entire album from which that song derives, or what that that song is from. The album "Chelsea Girl," which was Nico's first solo record after she left the Velvet Underground. Okay, we're in the de dark, deepest, deepest, darkest history of music. Most people yes. were not born. Well, that's why it's the underground. Yeah, okay, yeah. the deepest, darkest underground. Yeah. Okay, can we just, who are some of, I, oh, oh, you, let's identify some of the people who some, are the key players. Well, the key players in the Velvet Underground, I guess we'd have to start with Lou Reed. Um, who is a noted singer, or was, unless you... Lou Reed. Lou Reed, who um, has passed on from this plane, but maybe some on some other plane, um, and a brilliant singer, songwriter, um, wrote such hits as Sweet Jane and Walk on the Wild Side and Perfect Day, and later on, I Love You, Suzanne, which I like, and... The other members of the band were the esteemed, um, conservatory-trained Welsh musician, composer, singer, songwriter, John Cale. The band is called... The band again. is called the Velvet Underground. Okay. All they right. were uh, a band that started in the mid-60s and were discovered, in a sense... Um, by Andy Warhol. The pop artist. The pop artist Andy Warhol, okay. who coined the phrase, in the future everyone will be famous for 15 minutes, which is, I guess, proven to be true. Um, and so the Velvet Underground was a band that was, Lou Reed was the singer and the songwriter. John Cale also contributed songwriting. Sterling Morrison was the other guitar player. And the drummer was Mo Tucker. Mo Tucker was actually Maureen Tucker. She still is Maureen Tucker um, and is a woman, but there was even gender fluidity back then as to, you know, the album type, the albums would say Mo Tucker and she had short hair and looked like a boy, so there was a little of that confusion. I am, I'm told that John Cale will be presenting the entire Velvet Underground and Nico album. Yes, which was the first Velvet Underground album. It was called The Velvet Underground and Nico because Andy Warhol and his cohort, Paul Morrissey, who directed several of Andy's sponsored films, um, decided that the band needed a beautiful, blonde, six-foot-tall German lead singer. And Lou Reed, some say reluctantly, I, I couldn't verify that, gave her three songs to sing on that record. Femme that, Fatale. That record being? That record being The Velvet Underground and Nico with the famous banana the, on the cover. The banana album. Which was, the cover was designed by Andy Warhol, who was uh, also credited with being one of the producers. He didn't actually produce the no record. No one knows what producers of albums no, mean. No, no. Th so. But that album was actually produced by Tom Wilson, um, who was a staff producer at Columbia. Um, it was came out on Verve Records, and he also produced Nico's Chelsea Girl album, which was her solo foray after she left the Velvet Underground for, as she says, personal reasons. Okay, so he Meaning that okay, she, this, is the, you know, this is the album. This is the <coughs> album that I'll be doing at Pangea okay. um, starting next week. Okay. I'll be doing the whole album. It's only 10 songs. It's 45 minutes. It's not long. Um, the title of the show is It Was a Pleasure Then, which is, to me, the, the pivotal song on the record because it's one of two, I believe, that does not have an overlay or an overdub of a string section and a flute, which what Tom Wilson put on after the musicians had recorded their guitar parts. Um, this song was 
credited to Lou Reed, John Cale, and Krista Pafkin, which is Nico's real name, or her given name. Her Not birth her given, name. Her, the name of her, her birth name. Her birth name, because okay. real is... is okay, uh, I, I'm confused. I yeah. believe I'm, you know, someone we who all would are, be confused. Danny. Okay, the Velvet Underground as a band continues to exist. They continue to exist after Nico left But there them. is some collaboration on the Chelsea on, Girl On the Chelsea Girl album, album. Which you are Which I'm performing, performing. in its entirety. Okay. Um, Cal- yes, she did okay. songs... A few songs by Lou Reed that it was a pleasure then was one that is credited to Lou Reed, John Cale, and Nico. Okay. Um, it's very improvisatory. It sounds, it has that kind of avant noise that might have inspired Sonic Youth or bands mm-hmm. like that in the okay. 80s, you know, that kind of. Um, drone? A drone, certainly a drone, uh, certainly a lot of feedback, okay. which Lou Reed later used as okay. well. Okay, okay. But we, you know, people we, we can't don't need hear to know music. that. But well, you'll, we can't hear, hear when music. You do it. We can't, t- we, we, you know. Are you going to have? No, as. Uh, what, what backing are you going to have? I'm going to have, to have um, no flute because Nico hated the flute. She said, you know, she said, dude, that flute, I was so unhappy when that, when that, I heard that flute playing over the record. It was a surprise to it her? It was a surprise to her. I, apparently, Tom Wilson, the producer, did surprises like that. Um, like with, uh, apparently with Paul Simon and Art Garfunkel's Sound of Silence. Uh, he which was o- a surprise which to was them. was a surprise to them. He overlaid drums and bass. He must and have done something right because that was a number one It was record. a number one hit and sounded great. Yeah. This, I, I'm not such a big fan of the flute and the, and the string section. Um, I like it bearer. So we're going to have two guitars. Yes. Um, the guitarists are my husband, Keith Hartel. Right. We'll be playing acoustic guitar, even though Nico was not allowed to have acoustic guitar on the album as per Paul Morrissey, because he felt that would make her too folky. Right. Um, and Paul hated folky. He hated folky. Yeah, and all he, the velvet crowd. Yeah, they folky. didn't like, I guess they didn't like the whole San Francisco scene either, apparently. Yeah. Um, so okay. also uh, Richard Ferradin, who's played We're with me. talking about the mid- 60s, mid 60s, yeah, yeah. Mid, six, mid to late 60s. Okay, when this is this was, Chelsea Girl album recorded? It then? was recorded in 67. Uh huh. Um, sometime, I think, in, in the spring. It, re- it was released in October of 67, at okay. least according to Wikipedia and several other uh, verifiable outlets. 67, that's the year of the Summer of Love. Uh, summer of, of Love and apparently Francisco. the 50th anniversary of the Velvet Underground and Nico, although wait, some wait, say no, that... 67 we're talking 67, about. 67, yeah. It's the 50th anniversary of any, something that happened in 1917 then. Oh, no, oh well, <laughs> this is 2017. See, birth, I'm yeah. not good at math. Okay. I don't know these things. Oh, okay. I can't even... I can't. I'm just trying to... Why was 67 famous? 67 was famous because of the Summer of Love, because it was uh, when, you know, the the whole kind of hippie happening, you know, hit its right. peak. So, although some say Woodstock was the peak and the and the denouement, or right. Altamont okay. was the denouement. Who but was that's president? 69. Who was president? It was Lyndon Baines Johnson okay. was president right. then. Okay. Okay, um, after John F. Kennedy, who had been president prior to Lyndon Baines Johnson, right. was um, killed. Was okay. killed. Okay. All right. And that's Just how you met Nico, here. isn't it? Through at uh, your assassination party for John F. Kennedy. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't have an assassination party. No, no, not a party. Par- not a party. A wake. <laughs> yes. A- an a Irish wake. wake. We had a wake. That's where I met Nico. Yes. She and came did she to the wake impress I you? was having for the late President John F. Kennedy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. he was it's another story. nationally yeah. mourned. Yeah, oh, I was more mourned than anything that's ever been mourned yeah. in my lifetime since, certainly, or before. Okay. Um, yes. So, right. we're, okay. so we're a Chelsea Girl, the album. Okay, well, I, okay. yes, there's so, so many So this is also, things. Chelsea okay, Girl and was... So, but people don't know what these things are. No, okay. they don't, but Chelsea Girl was also the album okay. that was the, okay, was the um, debut of... Jackson Brown is a songwriter. Jackson Brown had been playing with Nico at the Dom, which was a place in St. Mark's Place where Nico 
played right. solo and had various guitar players play for her. So one of them was a very young Jackson Brown who had come to New York following the great songwriter Tim Buckley. Tim Buckley had been playing for Nico, Tim Buckley, father of Jeff Buckley. Um, Tim Buckley said to Jackson, she needs a guitar player, can you do it? She said, he, she said yes, he was very beautiful. She was 28, he was 18, they had an affair. He had three songs on the record. It was the first time his songs were ever recorded. There's a Bob Dylan song on the record that he had given to Nico, even though Julie Collins had recorded it first, called right. I'll Keep It With Mine. There's a Tim Harden song on the record who was a brilliant songwriter, sad life, but wrote Reason to Believe, which we all have, even now, and that's why I called this album It Was a Pleasure Then, because oh. if it was a pleasure then, it can be a pleasure again. Okay. And I didn't mean for that to rhyme. Okay, all right. I happen to know that there was a very great comprehensive Velvet Underground show in Paris, France. Oh. A year or two ago that it encompassed the entire culture uh, that was existing in New York then, including these people we're talking about, and right. then some... That show is coming to New York one year from now. Yes, I'm the excited Velvet about Underground, it. The Velvet Underground, huge thing. So, yeah, I'll be working with that. And you will, too, I hope. I hope so. And I, John Cale I will be. I love John uh, Cale. He doesn't know I love him, but I love him. Okay, I mean, not love John. A, yeah. Just a, a, a musical love of his, of his gifts and his talents. He went on to produce several of Nico's solo records of songs that she... Um, wrote. wrote. Let's say Nico Th was are, a song these are, writer. This, she didn't really like this album because she said, as she said, it was, the lyrics were very variety, light entertainment, which I did not care for. And so even though Nico didn't like it, we love it. And we're doing it at Pangea uh, from Thursdays starting April 6th and running through May 11th. Pangea is... It's only on Thursdays. Only on Thursdays at 7.30. So there how many Thursdays are there? Six. Okay, so everybody pay attention. Everybody, and yes. And it's go. at Pangea, which is 178 2nd Avenue in New York City in Manhattan. That's between 11th and 12th streets. And it's a wonderful venue. They have great food. And um, they're really sweet there. They're so nice to and, everybody. And just as the people at Paste are so nice. Brad is so nice to us. And Alicia, who introduced us, was so nice. And Danny, you, you know, despite all protestations to the contrary, you are exceptionally nice. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> and all you nice people out there, Take my word for it. When Tammy summons Nico, Nico comes alive as if she hadn't always been. So looking forward to that. Thank you, Paste. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Paste. Thank you all so much. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Well, Thank you, Danny. I should be booming like God and Charlton Heston.